Hello and welcome to the Titus Time Out podcast. I'm Jenny Abney Sivy, and I'm going to stick with my lead topics. So this week I'm going to discuss the lead indoor environmental quality thermal comfort credit. As a quick refresher, the lead environmental quality section gives points for decisions made about indoor air quality, thermal, visual, and acoustic comfort. There are two parts to the thermal comfort credit. Thermal comfort design and thermal comfort control. You have to meet the requirements of both design and control to get one lead point here. So for thermal comfort design, you have to design to ASHRAE standard 55 2010, thermal environmental conditions for human occupancy, or you have to design to ISO 7730 2005, ergonomics of the thermal environment, and CEN standard EN 15251 2007, indoor input parameters for design and assessment of energy performance of buildings. So there's a lot of detail in these standards and I won't go into them in this podcast, but ASHRAE 55 is probably the most common for us, so maybe I'll make that a future podcast. I do wanna talk about the second part of the credit though, thermal comfort control. To meet this part of the credit, you must provide thermal comfort control to at least 50% of the individual occupant spaces. So let me make a little room here. Okay, so to provide individual comfort control in a conventional VAV system, this would mean that you need to provide one VAV box per occupant for 50% of your occupants. Now, as much as I would like that as a VAV box manufacturer, it's probably not feasible to do. But there are two other systems that can be used to achieve this credit. The most common system to achieve this credit is underfloor air distribution, UFAD. A typical UFAD system has one diffuser per occupant and the diffusers can be user adjustable. When LEED first started becoming popular, underfloor was often used or at least considered for this very reason, plus some of the other benefits that I discussed in the underfloor podcast. Another option is to use VAV diffusers. This allows you to do a typical overhead HVAC system, but instead of VAV boxes serving several zones, you would use VAV diffusers. And then each VAV diffuser is individually adjustable, so you can give 50% of your occupants thermal comfort control. So you can learn more about VAV diffusers in the VAV diffuser podcast. I'll put a link to both the underfloor and VAV diffuser podcast in the notes below. So those are two systems, underfloor and VAV diffusers, that can help you achieve the LEED Indoor Environmental Quality Thermal Comfort Credit. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, and thanks for taking a time out with us.